Hello, my name is Dave Schwarm and I'm the Customer Service Manager here at Green Meadow Lawn Care. Is Roundup safe to use on my property? Many times I've been asked this question within the last year. Let's start with what has been huge news within the last year. In other words, the elephant in the room. In a groundbreaking decision, Dwayne Johnson was awarded a $289 million settlement in August of 2018 from a manufacturer, Monsanto, after a jury of his peers ruled that the company's weed control Roundup, glyphosate, caused the man's cancer. Here's a timeline of the events. Number one, in August, jurors unanimously agreed and awarded him a total of $289 million with $250 million in punitive damage and 39.25 million in compensatory damages. Number two, in October of 2018, Judge Suzanne Bolanaus reduced the punitive damages to 39.25 million, stating she was required to reduce the punitive damages award to a one-to-one -one ratio with the compensatory damages. Number three, Johnson appealed the reduction and Monsanto also appealed the verdict. Number four, both appeals, appeals as of February 2019 are still pending. As I read through research, many conflicting statements are being made, and as I hear more and more, I find keywords that make me pause to consider the motivation of the authors. Here are the words and phrases I have found in related articles online that just make me scratch my head. Number one, probably carcinogenic to humans. This was reported by the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer in 2015. Number two, and I'm quoting, unfortunately, we don't have the scientific evidence at this point to be sure. Dr. Rob Bassett, the associate medical director for Poison Control Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia told People.com in an article posted 8-15-18. Number three, according to the National Pesticide Information Center, when high doses were administered to laboratory animals, some studies suggest that glyphosate have carcinogenic potential Studies on the cancer rate and other peoples provided conflicting results on whether the use of glyphosate containing products is associated with cancer. This information is currently posted on their website. Number four, very bold statement. If you accept science, you accept Roundup does not cause cancer. Please follow the link below to the related article. This is the title of an article that was written by the American Council of, on Science and Health. And the list goes on and on. There is so much information available that the waters are very clouded on this topic. There are very intelligent and passionate people on both sides of this topic. Here's my takeaway. I've applied Roundup safely for now 29 years as a Connecticut licensed ornamental and turf supervisor, which is the highest level of licensing given by the state to apply control products like Roundup. I faithfully follow all label instructions and use personal protective equipment whenever mixing or applying these products. The state also requires me ongoing education to renew my license. If you're going to use the product like Roundup on your property and want to minimize the risk of exposure to you and your family, hire a professional you trust to do it. Thank you. Again, my name is Dave. I'm the customer service manager at Green Meadow. Until we meet again.